cattle. We were actually called all hat, no saddle. <laughs> and today when I told Lois I forgot my pants, she said all hat, no pants. So <laughs> fill in the blanks where you could be all hat, whatever you want. Yeah, it all works, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so we're the all hat, no cattle band. We're a garage band. We can't believe we're playing here. What's our first song there, Larry? The next one we're going to play. Fireball Mail. Fireball Mail. And this is Larry Patrick. You are going to enjoy his voice. Hit it, Larry. Start off. Want to start off on a banjo? Sure. Okay. Okay. Ready? until this tip bucket is filled with two dollar bills. So you choose what's the cheapest pain for you. All right Tim, I think you kicked this one off. Right? Here we go. Hey boys and girls. Surely the 
train, Shirley's a train, boy, Shirley's a train. Black smokes are rising, Shirley's a train, I'm on my long journey home. Lost all my money but a two dollar bill, two dollar bill, boys, two dollar bill. Lost all my money but a two dollar bill, I'm on my long journey home. Feeling kind of blue, feeling kind of blue, boys, feeling kind of blue. I'm sick and lonesome, I'm feeling kind of blue. I'm on my long journey home. Lost all my money but a two dollar bill, two dollar bill, boys, two dollar bill. Lost all my money but a two dollar bill. I'm on Got to go home, got to go home, boys, got to go home. Cold and it's raining, I got to go home. I'm on my long journey home. Lost all my money but a two dollar bill, two dollar bill, boys, two dollar bill. Lost all my money but a two dollar bill. I'm on my long journey home. You guys remember Andy Griffith? This next show, this next song is Dooley. And who was it that sang it? What's her name? Charlene? Uh, Char Charlene. Well, all the, all the boys got all excited and sang this. When they got all excited, they this is where look. <laughs> okay. Tim's got it mastered. Yeah, well, I'm getting there. So, oh, no. yeah, so the, should I tell them about the, the Dillards? Or you want sure, to? Go, ahead. So, go ahead. So anyway, the Andy Griffith show, the Darlin' Boys, right? It was Mr. Darlin', who was Denver Pyle, that actor who played in... Dukes of Hazard and some other stuff. He played the father, and he was on, on the jug, remember? And he'd, he'd always say, I want it to do it, I want it to do it. And he started in on the jug. And then the, the band behind him were actually a real bluegrass band called the Dillards. There's two brothers, Rodney and Douglas, and uh, Rick J and uh, Mitch Janes, and I can't remember, remember the four. Anyway, they were uh, discovered by Andy Griffith one time. They are playing out in L.A., and so he said, hey, I think I've got a place for you in my show takes place in North Carolina. So he, they call them the Darlin' Boys in the show. But they're a real true bluegrass band. Doug Dillard was one of the, in my opinion, top banjo players ever. Um, he's gone now, actually two of them are gone. Uh-oh, I think I see a $2 bill going in the jug. And, uh, and so I think there's only two left. But anyway, um, uh, they, they kind of played the buffoonery, the hillbilly act and all that stuff in the show. But behind that was a real serious tight, outstanding, top-notch bluegrass band. They really were. So we're trying to show some honor to them by playing their song as best as we can. <laughs> okay. So here we go. This is called Dooley. It's about a guy who had an uh, illegal lemonade stand. Back hey, I had to ask one Carolina. question. Hey, Chris, was that a $2 bill? Two, two, two dollar $2 bills. bills. Let's give Chris a big round of applause for two $2 bills. All right. Wow. The spout, 
Mama corked the bottles when old Dooley fetched him out. Dooley slipping up a holler. Dooley trying to make a dollar. Dooley, give me a swaller and I'll pay you back someday. And molasses by the drum. Revenue works came for him, slipping through the woods. Dooley kept behind them, and he never lost his goods. Dooley slipping up a holler. Dooley trying to make a dollar. Dooley, give me a swaller, and I'll pay you back someday. Okay, that's uh, Rick Patrick back on the Dobro here, and uh, Larry and Rick <laughs> have put together, you guys literally have, what, 20 CDs out there? And what do they do? How do they search your name out there? Oh, we're on... Is that uh, Curly and Moe, or...? <laughs> the Patrick <laughs> Brothers. <laughs> the Patrick baby. Brothers, okay. Okay, they are really good. We, we felt that we stacked the deck because we have these two professional musicians, and we have Tall Paul. We're just uh, eye candy, the rest of us here, so <laughs> enjoy... So let's see, with that being said, our next song is uh, Going Back to the Blue Ridge Mountains. Mike, you want to take this one off? Yeah. What, are you going to throw that on me right like that? Yeah, Mike, throw it off. Sure, all right, here we go. <laughs> I don't play on this. Are you guys ready? I'll, wait, wait, wait. I'll try and keep it slow. You're going to be doing it? Yeah. Larry's I wish. Forward. You wish. All right. <laughs>
front here with the visor, I bet you can probably clog too, can't you? I bet you can. Right? Am I right? Not, I'm not going to ask you, but I bet you can. Because you know all the songs. I see you. <laughs> well, we love your enthusiasm. Hey, I want to introduce my wife back here. Lois, she puts up with me and she plays the auto harp. Those are two very difficult things to do. Lois Brashler, give her a big round of applause. She's one of these, you know, the rest of us, we play and we practice, practice, practice. She doesn't even take it out of the case until the day we play, and I have to tune it. And she sounds better than all of us. I don't know how she does that. So, okay, this next song, we need some audience participation. This is I'll Fly Away. And everybody knows I'll Fly Away. We need help on this one. So sing during the chorus, okay? We're going to do the, uh, at the end. Oh, okay, so the... Uh, after we get through it, we do the whole thing, and then we're going to repeat the last, the chorus, all just a cappella. Okay? okay? And you got to sing really loud into your mic. Just the chorus. <laughs> <laughs> just the chorus, right? Okay. Okay, so who's kicking the saw? Uh, I think so. Am I kicking the saw? Kick it all the way. You want harmony on this?
When the shadows of this life have gone, I'll fly away. Like a bird from prison bars that flown, I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away. Just a few more weary days and then I'll fly away to a land where joy shall never Make a couple announcements here about sure, how we got here. <clears throat> yeah. Once again, thanks for coming out and listening to us. We appreciate that. Um, we're we are just incredibly. It's a privilege to play here. It's it's uh, it, it means so much to us to be on a stage where some of the the greats. Uh, I mean, really greats of old time country and country and bluegrass music played. Um, it's uh, a little intimidating, even maybe, but. We like to think that we're just doing the best we can by honoring them um, with our with their music, really. And um, so it's just a, it's a really great thing for us to be here. Uh, Larry and Rick used to come here as as children, and later on as adults. Uh, Paul Paul has played here before, so um, we thank once again Captain Carl for giving us the, the chance to play here on the stage. Um, Mike, you want to say a couple words of our history, real quick, about the, of the band. Mike's Mike's actually our our uh, our leader. That means he gets paid the most. And uh, let me just say, this is our second and probably our last gig. <laughs> well, we, maybe we really not. shouldn't be here. And Captain Carl, don't burn the place down just because we've soiled it here. <laughs> uh, as far as our CDs and videos <laughs> and movies, we don't have any of that. <laughs> T-shirts, we have nothing printed up. We have some wet ones. Oh, we, we have some wet ones if anybody needs to wash your hands. Do they have our logo on it? No, okay. We're just a garage band, and we've been just good friends. And this song, actually, uh, did you talk about this song? I wasn't even listening to what he was saying. Many thanks. Okay, this song, Many Thanks. Tim here and a few of us met at, well, believe it or not, there's a banjo camp out there. We all met at banjo camp in Olivet, Michigan. Let me tell you something about banjo camp. Can you imagine about 300 people and about 220 look just like me? I'm not kidding. It must be a midlife crisis for guys my age that want to learn an instrument. And we took a group photo, and I brought it home to my wife, and she pointed out 20 other guys before she found me on the list. So we literally, and I'm not kidding. I'd say about a third of them were named Mike. So I don't know what's going on here, but I feel like I'm just led to this camp. So we're just good friends that get together and play, and uh, we're, we're really honored to play here. Uh, we feel that like we do have some aces in the hole here with Larry and Rick and Big Tall Paul here. So this next song is Many Thanks, one that Tim actually wrote. And, you know, one other funny thing I want to mention. We were always called the All Hat No Cattle, 
And Tim was saying, hey, can you come up here and play at Buck Lake Ranch? And he's got these brochures, and all of a sudden we say, Tim Bryan presents, and then in small print, all hat, no cattle. Isn't it beautiful? So, and then we see, where's, where's Captain Carl? He gave Captain Carl a shirt just so he could get his name on the front billing. So if you have any complaints. One has to do what one has to do, right? Any tomatoes or eggs that's directed at uh, big... <laughs> oh boy, no. I don't even wear a hat. <laughs> okay. Well, now I do. Many thanks. Here we go. We have a we have a, a lineup here of a, we have a, a kind of core group and some of us because we're amateurs and we do other things some of us can't attend this one and they attended other concerts so that's what we're just kind of working out the details of who does what. So, okay. as we are, we like to call ourselves all hat and no cattle bluegrass band. I'm no one knows the days the good Lord chose to give, so help us always do the best we can. Our ragtime band of nine keeps the spirit alive. Many thanks for the
the joy you provide. Our ragtime band of nine keeps the spirit alive. Many thanks that you came into my life. Many thanks that you came into my life. Thank you. A couple words here about uh, Mr. Brashler there, Mike, Ooh. okay? <laughs> Mike is kind of our unofficial uh, leader here, and um, we um, uh, kind of gathered around his place in Lockport where he and his wife Lois have restored uh, 1914? Yeah, 1914, 100-year-old barn. This thing was a complete, I mean, almost a, a write-off, right? And they restored this barn with a dream of having uh, bluegrass music played there. And the rest of us were kind of like, wow, okay, good luck with that. I mean, you know, I, I hope it works. But we were just, and they had one band and then got a track, that word got out and then he got another band and then another band. This past year they've had the probably, would you call premier bluegrass band on the charts, the Gibson Brothers, uh, Special Consensus, uh, they've had, uh, uh, Michael Cleveland, that probably the best uh, fiddle player in in the world in that genre. I mean, they've they've done amazing success with this, and it's all because of their love of the music. And uh, it, I just, it's amazing. You guys are have done tremendous. I mean, there, there's an enclave of bluegrass music in the southwest suburbs of Chicago because of that. Now, one thing I want to mention is that we have such a good venue, we won't even let us play there, <laughs> and that's a fact. I don't know what that says for Buck Lake, but I think oh, we're in trouble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to thank. Yeah, I uh, unfortunately have another commitment I have to be at in a few minutes, but I want to thank everybody again for coming out. Please, if you haven't put anything in there, please support them. Again, thanks to everyone here. Well, Paul, it's a pleasure to have you back, as well as some of the rest of you. Thanks, so, Jim, thank, you, thank you very much. God thank bless you, you all. You. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Thank you, Captain Carl. Uh, hand for Captain Carl keeps this place running, folks. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Why don't you introduce this song, Jim? Uh, we're we'll doing Foggy. Foggy Mountain? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or we got to do it. Foggy Mountain. Yeah, we're going to do that one? Let's do it. All right. Well, well, I guess I'll do it. So you're going to take, take one? Take yeah. yeah. Okay. Might sound a lot better up there too. So. Okay, we're gonna uh, we're 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 playing in a, been playing in a key of G here just uh, for reference purposes because it's easy for banjo players to play in G because the instrument is that's what it is when you don't put a, what's called a capo up here or change the key it, it's it's right now in the key of G and so and the, and the guitar players <sighs> tolerate us because of that. And there, that's why there's uh, many, 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 many banjo player jokes out in the bluegrass venue, right? There's, we're we're kind of the Rodney Dangerfield of Tell the us game. one, Tim. Tell us a banjo player okay, joke. Okay, a banjo player <laughs> joke. Let's see. Uh, what's the difference between a chainsaw and a banjo? You can tune a chainsaw. Let's see. Okay, let's say that you're getting the stage level for the performance. How do you know that the stage is level? How do you know that the stage is nice and level for the performers? You see which side of the mouth the drool's coming out of on a banjo player's mouth. So. Mike, you, got, you always have a few. <laughs> Who said oh no already? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you call a beautiful woman on the arm of a banjo player? A tattoo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here's one that went over big at our previous and only gig. <laughs> what do you call a banjo player in a three, or what do you say to a banjo player who's wearing a three-piece suit? Will the defendant please rise? Okay. What do you call, what do you call two banjo players on the Buck Lake La Ranch stage? Too, too many. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> what, do you, what do you call a banjo player who's neck deep in concrete? A shortage of concrete. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With that self-emotion. <laughs> okay, should we do a foggy mountain breakdown? Or? Who's playing this thing? 
I guess we are. Okay. Okay? Do you want to jump in? No, I'll be back. Okay. okay. Another Andy Griffin song. Andy Griffin. There is a tune. There is a tune. There is a time. There is a tune. Here we go. Our ragtime band of nine keeps the spirit alive. Many thanks for the joy you provide. Our ragtime band of nine keeps the spirit. 